Mintech gets its funding from central government, but it's had to tighten its belt as the state looks to cut costs and increase revenue to avoid a ratings agency downgrade. Mintech has been working on resolving the acid mine drainage challenge created by the mining sector in Gauteng and the Free State. I've been engaging with uh, mining company CEOs uh, to present the, the programs of Mintech and also to look at opportunities that we can collaborate on. One of them is this particular one uh, on submin and cleaning of, of acid mine drainage. In fact, some of the CEOs They've indicated to us they see an, an opportunity for, uh, for us to work uh, together. The scientists tackle the acid mine drainage challenge from a different angle. With the current problem of acid mine drainage, we decided that I think if we focus on the source of the acid mine drainage, in this case the tailings, right, we could minimize the, the potential of the tailings to produce acid mine drainage. So in this case, the tailings have got residual gold in them. Right, and this gold is uh, included in sulfides. By occluded, I mean it's covered uh, in sulfides and it makes it difficult to use conventional methods to access the gold. Technology showcase sites are important to test theories and also to iron out any issues that may not have been foreseen on the drawing board. It gives you a good idea of what the costs are. But it's only when you run a process for three months or six months that you actually fully understand the cost and the performance of the equipment, etc. So one tends to need to demonstrate a technology for an extended period to build up the, um, to reduce the risks and build up the level of confidence in the information. The mining sector has earned a reputation for leaving behind holes in the ground and environmental damage. These technologies that we're showcasing are an attempt to show that one can clean up, can be responsible. And it doesn't have to be that expensive. There are things one can do to at least partially offset the costs. There's a legacy of more than 100 years of work that needs to be undone and small showcases like this show the way forward for government and for the mining sector. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN on the West Rand of Johannesburg.